the good news that I have to bring today is that we continue to see uh, the decline in our numbers of COVID cases on a daily basis all across Alberta. Over the last 24 hours, we've identified 127 new cases of COVID-19 and completed more than 4,400 tests. Our positivity rate has declined to about 2.9%, and we've identified 85 additional cases of variants of concern in these last 24 hours. Right now, we're just over 2,800 active cases province-wide, which is the lowest that it's been since October 15 of last year. There's currently active outbreaks or alerts in 216 schools, which represent 9% of all the schools in the province. Hospitalizations continue to decline as well. There are now 271 people being treated for COVID-19 in the hospital, including 68 in the ICU. Sadly, uh, we had four new deaths reported to Alberta Health in the last 24 hours. So I offer my sincere condolences to the families uh, and the friends of these individuals. As of June 13, we had administered more than 3.4 million doses of COVID vaccine to Albertans, including 46,000 yesterday alone. Over 69% of Albertans over the age of 12 have now received at least one dose, and 22% are fully vaccinated with both. So we're getting very close to our objective of 70%. The Open for Summer Lottery that was announced yesterday is one additional way to bring us closer to the goal of collectively returning to a more normal life. And I hope it will inspire even more Albertans to get vaccinated over the coming weeks. We are certainly very concerned about the, uh, the Delta variant and uh, where it might go. It has uh, shown itself to be a lot more transmissible than the the other, um, uh, even the other ex variants that we've experienced to date. But I think the good news is one, uh, like I mentioned today from the UK data, is that the vaccine, uh, uh, when people have received two doses, is, is still very effective. Um, the other thing is as our numbers decrease the um, overall, the, you know, a more transmissible variant will normally uh, or naturally become predominant just by default because it spreads more easily within households or uh, in, in the certain types of setting among uh, non-immunized people. Um, so uh, really uh, at this point, uh, we're staying focused on not only the number of people who are getting their first and second dose, but our, our declining numbers we're watching and certainly um, uh, you know, trying to do all we can still uh, with the public health measures in place to contain it in, in the, the Calgary area. Um, and, um, you know, we uh, are still confident that uh, our strategy is uh, aimed uh, in the right way to get as many Albertans immunized as possible, as soon as possible. We still um, are recommending uh, until we move to phase three to, uh, you know, to limit your uh, travel, the, you know, to what is you feel is, um, you know, necessary. We, um, you know, I think uh, certainly if, uh, you know, if, you're, if you have to travel and you're following the public health advice that, uh, you know, it's certainly getting increasingly safe to, to do so, but uh, we're still asking people to uh, abide by the, uh, the current measures just a couple more weeks longer, <laughs> if possible, because this is where uh, we need to be. Uh, I think, uh, you know, even uh, last summer, there, you know, there certainly appears to be a, some seasonality to um, to COVID-19. Uh, last summer, even without, uh, you know, vaccine available, we, uh, you know, we saw large reductions in transmission of the virus and, and the rate of illness. So uh, right now, this, the circumstances, we have the vaccine on top of that, and we think we, we can, uh, we can um, achieve our goal of avoiding a significant fourth wave uh, by, um, in, you know, reaching uh, high levels of second dose in people who've received their first dose.